Hey folks, so here's another auction haul. Um, spent 470 some dollars on this stuff. So yeah, what's to follow? Like I said, it cost me 470 some. So here we go. Uh, got a CNR oiler here. Uh, does have a broken tip though, which I didn't really notice in the photo. Um, yeah, kind of disappointed. I missed that. Shouldn't have bought it. But anyway, I'll get my money back out of it, I would think. Um, nice DuPont Sporting Rifle Powder, number 80. Six ounce tin. I've got a two ton plaque. Uh, some other couple of Barn Lantern shades, which I got lots of already. But a uh, uh, quart can, another oil or fluid can there and we've got uh, several shades chimneys for uh, coil lamps another barn lamp shade and uh, another one that I think is probably just off of modern light and a motorcycle jacket or uh, leather leather riders jacket there and we've got uh this was just a reproduction red indian ad that somebody's photocopied no big deal there uh came with this lot so and a vaveline catalog there and we've got several christmas ornaments nothing stupendous from what i can tell uh lot cost me a dollar or two dollars or something it was mainly after the lights We've got the uh, new old stock Christmas lights there. So that's basically what I was after. And, and then we got some calendars from UGG, United Grain Growers. Uh, kind of rough condition, unfortunately. Uh, there is one that's semi-decent here with a uh, steamboat on it. And uh, we've got a Saskatchewan Pool Elevators one. But uh, I have a fellow I'm sure will be interested in it because it has a map of all the elevators uh, in the province of Saskatchewan on it. For all the Saskatchewan pool elevators, that is. And a Federal Grain Limited calendar from 61. And we've got another, oh, a J.J. Crow Limited, whatever that one is. That one's Lumber Building and Materials. But I think it's got some damage on the bottom there, so it's pretty beat. There's some rough condition stuff there, but I think they came relatively cheap. And then we've got a bunch more stuff to go yet. So also got this mirror, which may not look like anything other than an industrial sort of mirror. But when you get looking at the bottom, it says Canadian Oil Companies Limited. So this was the type that was used in the restrooms of uh, Canadian Oil Company's uh, gas stations. So yeah, so I think that's White Rose, Canadian Oil Company's. Yeah, anyway, and yeah, so then we got uh, some toys. Got a few things. I'm gonna check some of these out. Uh, some of these little plushes now are actually worth something. I think this guy might be. Um, there's a glowworm in here, so they're like 70s, 80s, I guess now, probably 80s. Uh, got a Ren and Stimpy watch. We got another watch I don't recognize. Uh, Kermit Muppet movie watch, an X Men watch, and uh, kind of a funky, weird watch there. Um, got uh, part of a. This is a part of a Darth Vader mask, which is right here. I think we're missing the top portion though. Uh, got ET here, and I assume this is a Mogwai or maybe Star Wars. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so we got those. So I was delving into the uh, values of some of those watches in that toy lot. Now, these two watches have surprised me <laughs> quite a bit. Um, the swatch on the right here, on this side, uh, 
I'm finding comps in the hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar range. So I'm not too sure whether that's realistic or not. Um, one was sold for two sixty, but I don't, like I said, I'm not sure if that's realistic. So if you're a swatch person or interested or uh, an expert in swatches, I wouldn't mind a comment below and let me know what I have here. I'm going to do some more research, of course, but uh, yeah. So that one sounds pretty interesting. Now, same kind of goes for this watch here by Pine or Pino. I think it's Pine, but I'm not sure. It could be Pino. And it's a Jalga. Now, it's kind of, to me, it just looks like a novelty watch, but it seems to have some significant value. Um, I can't find any sold comps, though. Now, I always tell people, look, you know, when you go on eBay, look at sold comps. Well, unfortunately, in this particular case, there aren't any sold comps. So that's either good or bad. Um, that could mean that uh, they're really not worth anything and people are asking absurd amounts of money for them and not getting it. Uh, like this one here was, um, or is the seller's asking $413 Canadian. And I've seen another, uh, it has a different band though, you'll notice. And then this one here is the $137 again, but that one's boxed um, and with a different band than mine has. Now, I don't know whether mine's maybe the original band. It certainly matches the watch because it's got uh, a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of uh, gears and stuff on it uh, very much a kind of a steampunk theme um, and it says wrist wear wrist gear on the uh, end of it here but uh, yeah so I don't know um, it's something that's probably going to sit on the shelf until I figure out what it's actually worth um, yeah so either I scored big time or Maybe not. Uh, I did well enough on the toys in general. Uh, it turned out some of them were $20, $30, $40 toys. So anyway, one of the uh, toys turned out to be a Star Wars toy, an Ewok. Um, Ricket or Picket or something. It wasn't Wicket, but it was another one. But uh, anyway, it was about a $40 toy, so I did just fine there. Um, there was an E.T. figure that's worth probably... 10 15 dollars and such so i'm making money on that box regardless because the box came quite cheap but these watches may mean i scored so yeah um let me know if you're a watch modern watch uh aficionado let me know what i've got here i could have done real well or or not i don't know either way i'm in the money as it is but uh this lot of these two watches could uh, hold some significant value. Anyway, now back to the uh, haul. And then I got a whole whack of jewelry. A bunch of, uh, oh, well, it's all kind of ages, all different ages. There's some Victorian stuff in here. There's some 50s, 60s. So it's all kinds of stuff. And I think the lot cost me $25. So that's what I got in there. What I'm going to do is do a separate video on going through the jewelry, just for those of you who enjoy that, and so I don't bore you folks that don't enjoy that. So anyway, there's the jewelry, and uh, then also got this industrial light. It's this, this style here, kind of a gas station light, but it's got a lens on it, which is kind of different. Um, so got this... I don't know whether it's glass or plexiglass. I'm not sure yet. I think it's glass. But yeah. So anyway, got that. And uh, got some more to go. So I also got uh, these three Coleman lanterns here. Or lamps. Um, <laughs> I put a dollar bid on them. Expecting not to get them. And I got the darn things. So yeah. Good for parts anyway. Whatever. And then put a $10 bid on these two Coleman's. And uh, this one is a, 
a what what model is this i don't know not sure uh anyway decent one anyway for 10 bucks that's pretty decent and this is a 62 oh, 621d coleman so yeah um so yeah kind of an odd combination of blue and brown but uh that's legit from what i understand anyway and got a register grate with some scrap metal <laughs> uh yeah this pulley will be scrap metal the alarm bells or phone bells will be something i can sell hopefully got a couple of them already though um we got a bunch of wrestling magazines from the 80s so andre and hulk hogan and uh who's that that's not snooker who is that great scott oh that's rowdy roddy piper uh rick flair macho man that's macho man of course i was reading that um andre the giant and all the classics anyway so i got a whack of those i think they cost me 20 bucks or something like that um not too bad considering they sell for about 10 and more per magazine so yeah i think uh yeah they cost me 20 bucks so yeah I did okay i got a bill spike as well i think that's it was in another lot uh got a gi joe helicopter which fell apart when i uh was coming home uh it, uh fell and uh smashed into pieces but uh i think it'll go right back together so i think we'll be okay there but it is a gi joe so this is for the 12 inch figures not the three inch obviously and in the box i'm pretty sure there are some 12 inch figures uh we've got gi joe figure and a headless generic uh some junk and we've got a marks uh aboriginal figure here i forget what his name is so yeah i got a few bits anyway so we'll go through that later um i got a gremlins mogwai gizmo figure right there so in the box which is cool i paid oh what did i pay for these paid a little more than i expected to uh also came with this beatles one as well but um let's see thirty dollars that cost me but this particular figure is worth i think 75 or 80 something like that in the box in that sort of condition so not bad uh, the Beatles yellow submarine figure I don't know what it's worth probably not a lot I suspect it's probably 10 or 20 bucks something like that but uh, yeah that's all right so also got a little advertising mirror from Gwyn Brothers in Nipah Manitoba I got a ABC of the telephone so I assume that's basically all the way all the ways the telephone works and it dates pretty early 1901 that one and then we got some premium cards birds of Canada so yeah I think those yeah came out of Nabisco shredded wheat then we got a Christmas ornament from that Christmas ornament lot right there and we've got a bunch of razor strops uh, gem razor blades got a hone here the velvet hone it's kind of got a glass uh, sharpening portion in there got another razor blade sharpener here and some other drop back hones so we've got some other hones and what was this what is this what is this what is this what have we got here oh another razor stropper so another razor sharpener and then uh, frost and woods a toolbox lid from implements and a cast iron pulley and we still got more to go so stay tuned and for larger items we've got a little stool that i got with that little table that our deco table that i'll 
throw on marketplace for 10 bucks or something stool is what i was after so yeah that should should get oh 35 40 something like that probably 35 um then a little primitive cabinet a cream can and a mccall frott mac so red indian uh, bulk oil or waste oil pail and also i also got uh, two calendars uh, i paid up for these i paid 25 a piece so 50 bucks for the lot and last but not least a hay trolley so it wasn't terribly expensive at all uh, it was 15 bucks so i'll do just fine on that these can run anywhere from 100 to 300 dollars roughly some probably more we'll see what this one is maybe i'll throw it up on the screen once i find out all right thanks for watching guys please be sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on antiquing picking thrifting scrapping etc take care folks